It was a quiet village in a peaceful kingdom. That is, until... <laughs> Father, come quickly! Calm down, my sweet. What is the emergency this time? My hair! It's tight in knots and I can't get a comb through it! Exhausted, Mr. Miller seriously wondered about his only daughter's future. She was exceptionally beautiful, but was two years past the age of marriage. Would she be under his roof forever? Do you really need to comb your hair at this time? I heard a creaking sound on the stairs! There it is again! I told you, the creaking sound is a gate outside! Now calm down and go to sleep. Mr. Miller quietly tiptoed out of her room. Around midnight, he heard one of the king's knights stirring outside of his home. What causes you to be roaming at this dark hour? No, I have not come to pick a flower. No, what caused you to be roaming at this dark hour? I have come from the king's court to fulfill my duties as debt collector. I have come early to impress his highness. He questions my ability to fulfill this task. I see what you mean. Have I got a bean? Of course I have not have a bean. No, I see what you mean. Now, sir, who is the next person on your list? Hmm, let's see. And to the M's. Do you know a man named Miller? Having found himself in debt for taxes, Mr. Miller struck a deal with Sir Knight. After a firm handshake, Sir Knight prepared to leave after collecting. Are you sure? Are you sure you want me to take your daughter? Yes. Just knowing she would be safe from the royal court is comforting enough for me. Okay. Oh, and don't forget to tell the king she's been sick with a cold. She's been strolls in the gold. I can't wait to tell the king. Gwen was presented to the king, who is quite surprised. Mr. Miller paid me with his daughter? Yes, as you can see, her beauty is unmeasurable, but her talents are measurable indeed. What are you trying to tell me, Sir Knight? She can spin straw into gold. She what? Spin straw into gold? Yes. Gwendolyn shook with dread. Should she tell the truth? Before she could decide, the king spoke. I wish for the whole kingdom to be covered in gold. Rural page, bed! Yes, my king? Bring this fair maiden to the cellar. Give her a straw, dinner, and the finest spinning wheel in the whole kingdom. Come, let us go. Poor frightened Gwendolyn followed the young man into a dark room in the castle cellar, where she was to spin straw and to gold. Can you do it? Can you make gold? Of course I can. What? Well, no, I don't even know how to use a spinning wheel. Do not cry. I'll help. Stop it. Who's that? Oh, Show yourself she... now. My ears are getting up and trying to that? sleep. What is that coming from? Show yourself now. A small bearded troll popped out and scowled at Gwendolyn. Stop staring at me. Have you never seen a cellar dweller before? This is my home. Get out. I would, but the king ordered me here. I have to spin this straw into gold, but I don't even know how to spin. Oh! If I spin this straw into gold for you, will you stop the terrible shrieking? Yes, will you help? Yes, if the straw is spun into gold, he'll let me go. Well, in that case... What? What do you want? What I want most in life is to have a son. When you marry, you must give me your firstborn son. What? You want me to do what? I cannot give you a child. Fine! Stay here forever! I'll just move into a different cellar. No, don't go. You must help me uh, help me spin the straw into gold. Will you give me your firstborn child then? Oh, no one will ever marry me anyways. Yes, I agree. I wish for complete silence while I work. The troll worked feverishly at turning the straw into gold. The next morning, Sir Knight entered the cellar room to check on the maiden's progress. Seeing a basket filled with broken and bent threads, he panicked. Oh no, oh no. The king said no flaws, no flaws. Don't worry, Sir Knight. That's just, where, that's just the bin where I put all the rumpled pieces of gilded cloth. The rumpled gilded bin. The what? The clump of mold tin. We need gold, not mold. No, Sir Knight, that's the rumpled guild bin. Here's the golden cloth. Oh, it's beautiful. The king will be so pleased. The king was pleased indeed. He was so pleased that he asked Gwen to marry him and become his queen. As in all things of this earth, time passes. 
I cannot believe it has been a year since our wedding, my dear. I'm so lucky to be your queen. How lucky we are to have our firstborn child. Yes, he looks just like you. He has your handsome eyes. The king smiled adoringly at Gwendolyn. Suddenly, his nose caught a delicious aroma in the air. What is that wonderful smell? I must go figure out what it is. The king trotted off to the kitchen as an urgent knock was heard at the door. Come in! The knob turned and the door opened slowly. Hey! Go away! Stop screaming and stop wasting my time! A promise is a promise! You don't think I will? I expect you to keep your promise. Now meet me in the cellar in one hour or else! Or else what? The king still thinks you spun all that gold. What if he knows the truth? Will he still love you? Please don't tell him. I'll give you anything, anything. The troll smiled from pointy ear to pointy ear and sang a little song. I know that you have silver and gold, but those I shall not lay claim. It is your newborn son I wish to hold. That is, unless you say my name. He happily trotted toward the door and slowly turned, whispering to the queen. Remember, one hour. The queen secretly arranged a meeting with Sir Knight. No one knows his name? Please, someone must have an idea. You know what I think is a trick? I don't think he has a name. Maybe so. It's almost time to go into the cellar. Would you like Ben and I to accompany you? Please do. That mean little troll scares me. Well, then let's go. The queen and her friends walked to the cellar, but the troll was nowhere to be seen. I did not see him. Ben looked frantically around the room when the old troll jumped out from behind Gwen. I've waited long enough! I'm here. Robert, Wallace, Edward, Dan, Bob, Sam. The troll was delighted with the name game and sang a familiar tune. I know that you have silver and gold, but those I shall not claim. It is your newborn son I will soon hold. Because you do not know my name. I do know it. I just haven't said it yet. In a desperate attempt, Ben crawled around, looking for a clue as to the troll's name. He stumbled over a bin of rumpled threads. Look what I found. What is it? It's a bin. Oh, it's just a rumpled guild bin. What? What did she say? She said rumpled silk skin, but that makes no sense. How do you know my name? How do you know my name? No one knows my name! Everyone looked at each other in confusion. Rumpled guild bin? Rumpled still skin? Rumpel Stillskin was furious. He began screaming and stomping his feet frantically. Suddenly, Rumpel Stillskin disappeared. Oh my word, where did he go? He's not here. Everyone in the kingdom danced for joy and celebrated as Rumpel Stillskin's shrieking voice could still be heard in the distance. What?